Welcome to the Mississippi State University PA program. We start the tour of our program in the reception area at the desk of our program administrative assistant. This is the heart of our program. The program director's office opens to the reception area. The program director's office provides the space for secure storage of student and faculty files and records. Access to the office and the records is limited to the program director. Records remain in locked files unless in immediate use. Additional file cabinets will be added to house student records as they accrue. Record retention is guided by university policy. The next classroom we enter is a shared classroom dedicated to the teaching of anatomy. It houses the anatomage table, our digital anatomy technology. All classrooms are equipped with state-of-the-art classroom technology as noted in our application. This technology allows for synchronous and asynchronous delivery of the curriculum. This classroom is available for additional breakout sessions or small group activities. The classroom offers additional space for the storage of anatomical models and student learning resources. Adjacent to the anatomy classroom is the dedicated PA patient assessment and clinical skills lab. This lab contains six deluxe patient exam tables, each equipped with Welch Allen integrated wall units, which will include Odo and ophthalmoscopes, aneroid sphygmomanometers, and electronic thermometers. Each exam table will be separated by a hospital grade retractable curtain for privacy during the learning periods and assessments. Each exam space will have a fold down wall mounted desk for documentation. The room will also be used to provide OSCE experiences and summative examinations. The learning space will include in this area a hospital grade two sink scrub station and adult and pediatric scales. A 12 lead portable EKG system will allow learners to perform and interpret EKGs. A portion of the room is equipped to allow movable learning stations where learners may use electronic media to augment their learning. This room may also be used as additional classroom space for small group learning. The space allows for additional storage of program equipment and supplies. The space is sufficient in size for small or large group activities. Additional seating and tables are available if needed, allowing maximum use of the space. When fully developed, the space will enable the program to both instruct and assess learners. In addition to the program director's office, there are three dedicated offices for faculty on the first floor of the program. Each office is private, and has a space for confidential academic counseling. The clinical coordinator, the assistant program director, and one principal faculty occupy these offices. The program has access to the Phil Harden Foundation Library, a part of the Mississippi State University Library System, which is located adjacent to the program. The library holds physical copies of all texts required and recommended for the program. Students and faculty have 24-hour online access to the Mississippi State University Libraries and their vast resources. The Phil Harden Foundation Library on our campus is staffed by full-time librarians and has areas for small group computer testing. The Longest Student Health Center at Mississippi State University provides clinical health care services for our students. The university's chief physician assisted PA program leaders in drafting our sharp objects needle stick policy and assisted in developing other practices surrounding potential health care needs of PA students. The second floor of the program houses additional classroom facilities, the program conference room and the program simulation lab. The dedicated classroom seats 45 learners, each seat supplying power for computer needs. The classroom technology includes lecture capture capability. A larger capacity classroom next door seats 75 learners and will allow the program to accommodate two cohorts of students simultaneously. 
These classrooms provide life-size and crestron lecture capture capabilities. As we have learned through the current pandemic, appropriate technology to ensure seamless delivery of instruction is critical. The program's dedicated simulation lab is currently housed in this classroom. There are three hospital grade patient care beds, one for each simulation training mannequin. These student learning tools will allow the faculty to instruct basic clinical skills and procedures in a safe environment. The program has purchased a female birthing simulator, a general unisex clinical skills mannequin, and an advanced simulation trainer, Alex. Welcome to the MSU Physician Assistant Sim Lab. Alex is a programmable simulator with vast array of capabilities. Alex recognizes questions and responds with scripted answers related to the medical condition. Alex is also equipped with an HD camera, which allows streaming of live, low latency video from his right eye. Instructors can debrief with a patient point of view experience. Alex allows learners to develop critical thinking, decision making, and priority setting skills. Learners can conduct initial patient assessments and clinical interviews and acquire foundational patient care skills. Alex allows instructors to program a wide variety of clinical scenarios in several languages. This simulator is equipped with interchangeable genitalia and permits the use of any standard medical exam tools. Alex will be used for instruction and assessment of clinical skills, patient communication, and problem solving skills. The program will use the SAM 3G student auscultation mannequin for instruction and assessment of cardiac, pulmonary, and gastric auscultation. There is space in the lab for small group teaching or student work and ample room for storage of simulation materials. The dedicated program conference room is located on this floor. It has state-of-the-art technology for meetings and is used for faculty meetings and confidential student counseling. Three additional faculty office spaces are located on this level. One space is occupied by the medical director, the other two are vacant. The Office of the Program Institutional Technology Specialist is located on this floor for access to the simulation lab. The Alex simulator can be remotely controlled from this office which is useful for student observation. The building has additional undeveloped space on the third floor. This space can be customized to support future program needs. The second floor also provides space for student use of computers and printers and individual study. Additional space is provided for breakout and small group work. Adequate space is provided to facilitate out-of-class student collaboration, study, and relaxation.